Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, I, when I, as, as I, as when you speak, <clears throat> what I, what I really think about is the influence and the impact and the people that I feel like in the, on the West Coast, they influenced a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of young people. The, 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 the kids, the, the kids pretty much wear red and blue because of what they seen up here. This, this didn't just happen here and it hit a few towns. This hit the whole, some other countries, I'm pretty sure. It's on uh, Bloods and Crips, Red and Blue are on all seven continents. Yeah. You're going to have either or. And uh, you don't have the same dynamics. The, the uh, streets, California sets the example for the United States. It changed the game. But uh, uh, back to, uh, I didn't answer that about, about the influence that's right. uh, in uh, jail as opposed to the streets. Well, uh, my influence as far as uh, influencing those in prison, it wasn't no influence, but I did bring awareness to the three strikes law, uh, brought to, uh, awareness to them being uh, incarcerated behind the wall and uh, dressing uh uh, restorative justice and trying to bring these young men home. So by that, you need the prison system. So if they start getting too far out of line and it jeopardizes these men's in prison freedom, they're able to check them real close and give them a hug. So you need the prisons and something that will make them stand up uh, to punish that. Now as far as on the streets, uh, I'm influenced or bring awareness to the life that you're joining up for and signed up for. And usually at the end of the day, you're gonna either get killed off in the criminal justice system or you're gonna end up in the grave. Very few people are very successful uh, uh, in this game out here running these streets, uh, you know, cause you pay uh, your taxes by either getting killed going to jail because usually your money you're getting, you're not paying taxes on it, you're hustling for it. So when you go to jail, we call that paying taxes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of youths uh, like to hear their history, their stories, they might be a blood and call me, hey man, we like to hear the history uh, of how we started this and, and this and that. And I always tell them, uh, uh, I can't influence what you do in your town, community, state, or whatever. You just make your own personal decision because for over 50, 60 years, it's very embedded here in California. This is a culture that is, it's, it's, it's nothing like it. I have to ask you this question. I go back to Charleston because he said something that was dear to me. He said that the gang members would shoot up the kids, shoot up the houses, and, and, and then the kid, a, a woman or a child would may get hit. And then that the gangs would pretty much hide the guy that did this. And still killing the kids, the mothers, the sisters, all the suffering of 50 years. And you still want to hold it in your heart. There's no way God can live in a heart with a gang honor in it. Wow. You can't make me believe the spirit of God can exist in the heart of them niggas. That's why they look, that's why they die before us the way they die. So now, man, they cursed. And I believe in my heart and my soul and my mind that everything attached to the name Crip and Blood is cursed with destruction and death. Until they repent. What does the word repentance mean? To turn away from. Yeah, yeah. And basically, pretty much uh, try to keep him from having to deal with uh, being, uh, uh, pr you know, pretty much protect him from being, being <clears throat> arrested or whatever else he would have to go through because of it. Is this something that was a practice or is that just talk? Now, I'm just, that's allegedly. Now, uh, what I can say on that is, once again, you got 60, 50 years of this. So people, uh, like for instance, you hear about people tell stories about Crips killing Crips. Yeah. But when I tell a story, you won't hear that. So I'm predating that. 
So what is acceptable now? <laughs> they brag about their era. That's their era. But that's not a reflection of how this started. Oh, it started. Mm -hmm. So they need to hear this about how it was to where regardless of what it was, it was honorable. And it stayed within those. It wasn't no drive-bys, uh, shooting up with no Uzis. We damn near using bow and arrows, zip guns, uh, walk-ups. And it wasn't no uh, innocent people uh, uh, really getting hurt to where we knew what we were signing up for, whereas now it's more blatant to where, once again, I say uh, they kill uh, within the areas that you stay in. Because if you have, all you have to do is Google uh, the 100 days, the 100 nights. Uh, that was in 2015, arguably the most uh, uh, human disregard of life I ever seen when it came to killing. Uh, I survived that, or quite a lot of us did. And uh, it ain't, I don't know where somebody would know that somebody did that and hide them out and like, oh man, you killed a kid. What they gonna do is stay in their lane and mind their business. That's just how it is out here. They see, it in, in these streets, the rules are, as of now, there are no rules. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.